Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and this is a self-returning tunnel bore. Pretty small, right? Before observers, these things had to be pretty big because they relied on redstone blocks and a lot of creative engineering to actually get something to go and take blocks from a wall and pull them all the way back. If you've seen Cube Hamster's video, for example, he made a crazy machine that was like a huge drill that went all the way forward and brought the blocks back, and he even made a station to unload it. But with the new observer box, there's a lot of new mechanics that you can use with piston flying machines, and I was able to get a tunnel bore down to just this little size, one wide, and it's pretty fast too. I'll just ignite it back here, and there it goes. It will hit the wall and come back with the block. And once it reaches the obsidian, it will stop just like that. The way this works is that when it's pushing forward, this piston keeps trying to push this observer block off of the piston here. So let me show you that in better action. If I just reset the machine like this and break off this stone, once I ignite this observer, this will push off and then this piston will extend this at the same time this extends so it won't be able to push this observer away but when it hits this wall, it will be able to push the observer, and that will cause a block update uh, powering this piston, and then it will send the machine back on the other way. If I show you again, you'll see here it comes, it keeps trying to push that observer block, and then it hits the wall, and it pushes it, and the machine returns. Then all you have to do, once it gets back, is build a station to reset this part up here, and possibly remove the stone blocks, and then send it back on its way. I have a simple such station right over here. It uses a command block to remove the stone, but it's conceivable that you could use a bunch of pistons and pull away the stone blocks. It would just take a lot more redstone. And maybe I'll do something like that in the future. But for now, I have this station here. If I press this button, it will send it off. It will go over to the wall, as it did before, and it will start going them away. And when it gets back into the station, it's going to cruise over here, and then these blocks are ready to pull the piston back. And this is just a ghost block that doesn't really exist. If I flip this switch, it is now automatically enabled to send itself back every time it returns to the station. So it will send a block update to this observer, which will power this redstone here, the command block will remove all the stone, and then this piston will pull back the mechanism up here, and this piston will update the observer again. And this will keep going until it makes the tunnel all the way through the wall, up until this obsidian block back here. So I will just cut right here, and then I will show you what happens when it's close to being finished. This machine has finally gone all the way through to the other side. This is the shape of the tunnel that it makes. It's four blocks high in the middle, and two blocks on each side. At this point, it's just bouncing back against the obsidian and not bringing any more stone with it. But like I said before, when it does bring back stone, you can have an unloading mechanism at the station that uses pistons to pull all the blocks off the drill head. Then you can send those blocks to a wither cage to automatically mine them and gather any resources from the tunnel, or just to get them out of the way. I don't have such a station already built that is a lot more complicated and takes a bunch more redstone. So for this video, I will just show you how to build the tunnel bore, and then if you want to, you can use it without the station by just removing the blocks yourself. Before I start the tutorial, I just want to give credit to two people whose tunnel bore designs helped me to design this machine right here. First, there's Sam and Rad, who made a vertical self-returning tunnel machine that would dig down into the ground and pull blocks back up with it. There's also Morsey's Minecraft, who made a horizontal tunnel bore machine and showcased this device right here, which when pulled will pull blocks back with it. Both of their channels have some really cool inventions on them in addition to the tunnel bores, so I'll link them in the description and I recommend you check them out. Alright, now let's get on to the tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to do a tutorial on the tunnel bore machine itself, and not this station. If you want to take a look at the station, there's a world download in the description that you can go check it out for yourself. Alright, so you'll start off with an immovable block like this obsidian here, and you'll put a piston with three slime blocks, 
and another piston out here with a slime block, then one more sticky piston back here with a slime block, and finally a regular piston on top, an observer here, and an observer here that will set this thing in motion. As it goes towards the wall, it will hit with this block here, and then it will pull it back, and this piston will get set into this off state, which when it comes back here, it'll just have to reset. So you'll put the observer here, and the piston here, and then you'll also have to remove the stone, and then you can set off this block right here, and it will go back. If you want to, you can also add an additional slime block under here, so now when it digs the tunnels, it won't get any stone stuck to this, it will pull all the stone blocks connected to this, which will make it easier to unload once we finally design a station for this. I can show you this right here, if I just set this off, then this will go, and let's fill this back in with stone. First, it will pull these blocks like this, then it will pull these blocks like this, and it will continue on in this pattern all the way down through the tunnel, pulling out, what is that, 4 plus 8 blocks at a time. And when it gets back to here, you'll just have to pull off the stone and reset it like I said. And that's pretty much all there is to it, other than the station of course, which at some point you could build up around this thing. But for now, I think I'll end this video here. I hope you all like this concept, and I would really look forward to any ways you can think of improving this, whether it be with a station or by making this design smaller possibly, because the observer blocks have opened up a lot of new capabilities for piston flying machines. Well, that's all for this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.